Hey everyone, I'm Lee, the bartending photo boothing rental guy. On my YouTube channel, I cover bartending, photo booths, event vlogs, product reviews, and my growing event rental business run from my garage. Stay on my channel for a while, check out all my videos, and like and subscribe if you like what you see. What is up guys? Today is my video on how you can make a successful bartending business with zero dollars. So check it out. Okay, so we're picturing that I have zero money. So I have to start exactly from scratch. So that's what we're going with here. Um, if I was starting exactly from scratch, I would uh, put out ads. So I would start with uh, Kijiji ads and I would put bartender for hire. So um, normally you can charge about $20 an hour. That's Canadian for bartending. Once you start getting uh, anything more than $15, $20 an hour, then uh, people, you're not gonna get as many bookings. So if you start there at about $15, $20 an hour, then uh, you can save your money. Plus you're gonna make tips at the events. So uh, the tips will add up. So once you've done a few events, then uh, it's time to invest what little money you have. So I'd say once you hit the $300 mark, it's time to get yourself a set of bar tools. Okay, so I've got a tin of bar tools here. I'll just bring them out. Okay, so go buy yourself a tote. Um, plastic tote, probably good quality because it will probably get banged around me in the back of your car. So in your tote, you're going to want to have uh, basically this. So uh, condiment tray, uh, ice scoop, shot glass, um, bottle openers, uh, some pe speed pour spouts, uh, wine opener, um, serving tray is always good, um, an extra jug for water and so forth, a Caesar rimmer tray, um, Shaker tin. Uh, bar mats to catch all, all the drippings. Um, and I like to have these gray bins here. Uh, you can put ice inside your gray bins. Um, then you can go for extras. Oh, you need rags as well. So now you need to get a portable bar. So uh, you've done probably about 10 events and you've got a few extra dollars. So um, you can go for bottom of the line, portable bar. Uh, basically these ones that come in a package here, um, and then they, uh, they collapse up. I'll collapse it up really quick. So here's a basic cheap portable bar. So this bar, uh, this one's Realtree. Uh, you can get this for about, I don't know, between 50 and $70 Canadian. So... Uh, believe it or not, this is actually rented out from my rental company quite a bit. But um, if you're doing a backyard party, this would be a perfect bar. I don't recommend charging for it, but um, uh, as a free add-on, it's uh, it'll level you up just a little bit. So um, you could build a bar if you've got like a van or something that you could do. You could do a bar like this. I just uh, built this out of wood. It was very simple. It's on wheels. I can show you the inside there. Um, yeah, so, so another type of bar that you might want to get is just like, like a nicer one. So now that you've got your bar tools and your portable bar, you're pretty much a real bartending service and, uh, you would have done 10 events now. So I forgot to mention, you should be taking pictures at your events. So, uh, so that you have stuff to put on your website eventually. So um basically through these last 10 events you've been taking photos uh view behind your bar setup uh if you've been hiring bartenders to come with you your team uh basically you want to document your setup you want to show people your bar tools you want to make videos and then you can put this all on your website so now it is time to build a website so for me, when I first started, I just built a free website. I went to www.weebly.com and I made a, a website and it 
was perfect for a free website. I uh, put a form on it so that people could fill out their information, uh, basically when their event is, how many people are attending, um, and then their personal information, and then they'd request a quote. And you could put little things on your website, like, like, would you like to add a portable bar now, now that you have portable bars? But then you can also start utilizing uh, rentals, but they don't have to be your rentals. You can start sub-renting things from people. So um, a good thing to start sub-renting, assuming that you have uh, a bigger vehicle, like a van or you have a trailer, is glassware. So you see up there, I've got some glassware. I think I have some around the corner here too. So glassware so you don't need to actually own this glassware um you could just rent it from another company put it on your website for just a little bit more expensive than the rental company rents it for so that you make a little bit of a profit off of it and uh that's an add-on so for every add-on you make more money so think of it that way i know that for me uh my most profitable thing is my add-ons when i do bartending gigs um, I don't really make much off the bartending because I end up paying my staff. So if you're working the gigs yourself, yes, you'll make the money. But if you have staff, you're going to need add-ons. So that's add-ons. Another add-on that I put on after portable bars was bar tables. So now you're up to glassware, bar tables, um, and portable bars. So you have three different add-ons on your website. So that could be potential extra money. Say that everyone is, every gig that you get is booking a portable bar for an extra $150 and then, uh, six cocktail tables at, um, uh, uh, say $20 a piece. That's, you're making more money almost off the rentals than you are for bartending now. So, um, you're coming into some serious money. So, it's smart. So make sure and keep your eyes out during this process. You don't always want to be sub renting the glassware because you want to make that money off the glassware. So I watched for probably about five years before I built up my glassware inventory. So uh, eventually restaurants in your area will go out of business and they will be selling these racks. So if you just keep your eye out on uh, buy and sells and um, uh, auctions, you'll be able to find them cheap. I know I got these, or sorry, these green ones for $2 a piece, and they came with glassware in them. Like $2 a piece, that's crazy. So uh, keep your eye out for the deals, and you'll be able to build up your glassware inventory. Another great thing to look into to add to your website uh, is pop-up tents. So you're doing a backyard gig, and um, you need a pop-up tent. So uh put it on your website and then they will add it and pop-up tents can add a lot of money you could charge probably uh like 75 75 dollars for a 10 by 10 pop-up uh, this is a 10 by 10 right here uh and i mean it pops up in two seconds i buy mine from impact canopies in canada so if you're from canada impact canopies canopies but you can get a 10 by 10 in the states from euromax uh for cheap they're good quality um and okay so you have a portable bar a tent glassware um you're well on your way to being a great bartending service so all that you have to do is add these to the website and you're all set so now you're at the point where you need to start hiring staff so hiring staff uh you're going to want to make sure that uh, you're a registered business and uh, that you start a payroll account and so forth. I'm not going to get into the logistics of this um, because the laws are different everywhere you go. But um, definitely, I, I knew that I wanted to get into payroll so that I uh, uh, didn't get audited. So that's that's what I did was started a payroll account and got people on payroll. So if you've worked in the service industry, then this is where a big bonus is going to come in is you can basically poach bartenders from uh, the restaurants that you've worked at or people that you've worked at. All the bartenders that I've ever hired uh, is been a person through a person. So um, first it was someone I worked with at a restaurant, then it's their friend and then their friend. And uh, usually when you hire through friends, 
uh, in my case anyways, anything that I've ever known for the eight years, they're always super reliable. So, um, and you can gauge their work ethic, right? So the first person you hire is someone you work with. So you know their work ethic and then they'll vouch for someone else and so forth. So this is the best way to gain trusted employees uh, bar for bartending. Just make sure and pay them good or they're not gonna stick around, right? So now that you have staff, then um, you can start doing multiple gigs. Like uh, you're wide open now for growth. So uh, you can book, you can triple book dates, right? Because there's going to be some dates in the summer that are going to be, or the, even the winter, Christmas time that are going to be hot, hot dates. And you're going to get triple, quadruple bookings, right? So you're going to need the staff on hand. So um, not even on hand, because uh, basically with my bartending service and any other bartending service I've ever heard of before, it's basically I just start a Facebook group and say, hey, guys, this is my hiring group. And then whenever a gig comes up, I'm like, I got a gig who wants to work it. Right. And I send them the deets and they either say yes or no. So, um, oh, scared me. So at this point, you can branch out doing multiple gigs. So um, and if they're bringing rentals out to every gig, you're making five times the money. Um, usually when or when I got to this point, um, I wasn't really working the gigs anymore. Like I'd work them if I only had one. But uh, if you have more than one gig, then if someone calls in sick or something happens, then you can jump out and you can work the gig, right? Um, I know for myself, when I have multiple gigs on a date, I'm just driving around, basically dropping off rentals and picking them up. Uh, and then the staff just comes and works. Uh, I don't like them to uh, do all the drop offs and pickups so that I can pay them less. And then uh, I just do as much of the labor myself. And uh, I've had bartending days where I've made $5,000 in one day just from multiple gigs. So uh, this is this is the way to grow. So uh, heed my example. So um, uh, I'm not trying to hide anything. My bartending uh, business is called Elite Bartending. So uh, you can check it out. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, just uh, pop it in the comments and I'll be glad to answer. I'm uh, here to help out. So show you how to bartend. Uh, maybe in a later video, we'll do a progression video and uh, get more because you want to get more into to rentals eventually, right? Um, if you're want to earn more profit it's the more rentals that you get the more profitable you are so anyways thanks for watching guys uh make sure and sub to the channel if you like this video uh now that uh it's now that there's a little more time on everyone's hands i'm going to be actually posting uh more videos so uh i'm going to make lots of videos on bartending and lots of videos on photo booths and lots of videos on event rentals so you stay classy i'm out